loves welcome back to my channel okay so uh the reading today is how do they currently feel about you so like an update to you know how they feeling pretty much uh we have three pals today we have a for marble b for pink quartz c for amethyst pick the power that best resonates with your energy make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind i have readings on my website thelovemealways.com i am on i just lost my fucking train of thought i am on instagram at queen Sartre xo uh i'm also on patreon i just posted a video uh, do they think about you when you mas when they masturbate and then I'm about to post a poll to see what's next. I gotta figure out what y'all wanna see. So I'm about to post another poll. Uh anything else? I don't think so. Okay, let's get started. Hi pal A. Alright, so how is pal A's person feeling about them real quick? Like how is they feeling about them? Well, pal A, how is for pal A, how is their person? How are their person? How is their person? Yeah, how is their person? How is pal B, how pal A's person feeling about pal A? How is pal A's person feeling about pal A? How is pal A's person feeling about pal A? Okay. So you have some separational energy. I want to be with you, but we need a little break right now. I'm missing on you. Is my hands ashy a little bit? Okay. Uh, we need to talk because I miss you. I want to exchange some energy. I am dealing with the heartbreak of an ex. I am still here for you, though. I need your attention, and I want you still in my face, in my area, and my energy. All right. Okay. Top of the deck, this person is building on some type of stability, and they are coming back. They've been having issues, but they're very much in love with you. All right, let's get a little more deeper into this. What is going on? For Pal A, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on with Pal A's person? What is going on with Pal A's person and how they're feeling about Pal A? All right, let's see. We got the relationship is over. No second chance. There's going to be growth and transformation. Taking a chance. Taking a risk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, being unapologetically self-loving. They're concentrating on themselves. And they, they're trying to create... This person is trying to create something. I'm sorry. I'm trying to move my chair over. This person is creating something and not not being un, not being apologetic about it. Like, this person is trying to get their shit together. <clears throat> they're investing in themselves. Taking a chance. They want to take a chance with you, too. They feel that it's very risky, though. I just bent down to get my cards and I bent down and I looked straight into my cat's face and he looked like he was doing something he ain't got no business doing. Anyways, uh, your person has trust issues, but they feel a soulmate connection with you. You are going to talk to this person again and they have been strategizing because they've been missing you. They've been thinking, right? I wonder <laughs> I wonder what they got planned for you. Okay, so it's saying that your person does want to be with you. They just need a little space and they're coming back. They've been investing in themselves. Okay, but also thinking about what they want to invest with you. That makes any type of sense. Spirit, because I'm a little nosy, just a little bit, okay? I want to know what this person's intentions are, like what they're trying to invest with how. A. What is the how A is person trying to invest with how A these cards? Commitment. They want to be with you. Commitment. 
<laughs> that's what they're wanting to invest in. They're wanting to build something great with you, something beautiful, something that's going to be long lasting. This is beautiful, pal A. I love it. Okay. What is Pal A doing, Spirit? What is Pal A's person wanting to wanting to invest in? What are they wanting? What is Pal A wanting with Pal? What is Pal A's person wanting with Pal A? Health, a healthy relationship. Having good freedom. They're imagining this future with you. They're feeling like it a challenge. They're feeling like it's a challenge, but they're ready to take it on. They're ready to surrender to it. They're ready to just let it happen. I think they've been thinking about like things that they don't have and being playing a blame game. But this person really truly honestly wants love. They want peace in that love. They're grateful. <laughs> They're grateful for you. This person wants a chance. A, a new chance. Alright. Need I say more? I don't want to fuck it up. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, this is a great thing. Your person wants you. They miss you. They're coming back to you. And I, w and I don't think it's going to take that long. You know how sometimes it takes these motherfucking years to get their shit together. This person got their shit together. So I'm so happy for you. So if this made any type of sense to you, Pal A, you lucky son of a gun, uh, <laughs> let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, hi, Pal A. How are you guys doing, love? Okay, let's see what we're doing. Pal, not Pal A, Pal B. Hi, Pal B. Okay, Pal B. How is Pal B's person feeling about Pal B? How is Pal B's person feeling about Pal B? How is Pal B's person feeling about Pal B? Feel like they want they want your attention, but they've been involved with some other energy. They're in the energy of wanting to have fun. Okay. They've been talking about you. This person you've been on this person's mind. They've been needing some space from you, but they're very sexually attracted. All right. Okay. Oh, and they want to show you some good energy. Okay, I like that. At the top of the deck, because I love you. At the bottom of the deck, I'm just not happy. Okay. Your person has strong feelings for you. They feel connected to you. <sighs> it's some things that's just not in alignment, though. Your person is very focused on themselves. They're an energy of really liking you, wanting to be around you. But this person might have, this might be a third-party situation. And I hate talking about those. Or this might be a situation where this person is just focused on other things or dating, you know? How this person feels is that they want to show you some good energy, though. They want to give you some good treatment. They don't want to treat you like anybody. And they're very sexually attracted to you. They want to fuck. <laughs> But something's just not in alignment there. They're saying that they are uh, focusing on themselves. They're focusing on some other things about them. But they've been talking about you. And they want things to change. At the top of the deck is I love you. And I want to fuck what's up. And I've been missing you. And I want to talk to you. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck is I'm just not happy with myself. So that's probably why they're a little distant. They're probably concentrating on finding their happiness. So how does Pal B's person feel about Pal B? How does Pal B's... How does Pal B's person feel about Pal B? They 
They feel a connection. They feel like you guys have a lot of things in common. This person thinks about you a lot. They think about the past. They think about the memories that you guys share. I feel like this person does definitely want to give you some priority. I, I See, the thing is, I don't... What is the fuck is that? I don't think your person feels like you are uh, just anybody. I don't feel like your person feels like you are just, you know, some regular girl that comes in and out their life. This person is trying to be receptive of what's next. They're missing you. This person's thinking about you. This person probably uh, probably has had dreams about you. They feel a soulful connection to you as well. Our partners reflect our rooms, mirrors where we are, and taking responsibility. So, something that this person is probably not taking responsibility about. Maybe not taking responsibility of you guys being together. Maybe not taking responsibility of uh, focusing solely on this relationship. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, they're... It seems you guys will definitely be talking again. It seems like this person wants to date you, but they also want to be single. It seems like they're trying to have fun. This person is really trying to find happiness, to be honest with you. I don't think they really know what to do. I think they're just trying to find some peace within themselves. Uh, but you will you will probably hear get another text from this person, another call. And things will be different. Certain things will be different. You'll end up receiving some passion that you guys needed, some happiness, some enjoyment. There's going to be a reconciliation, definitely. And I feel like this reconciliation is because this person really misses you. But this person has some type of narcissistic energy. So it might be at times one-sided. There might be energy of not really trusting this person fully. Uh, maybe they're going to push you away in some type of way because it's saying that this person's kind of guarded. They've probably been hurt. Let's see why they're guarded. Let's get a little nosy. <laughs> why is Pal B's person so guarded? What happened? What happened in the past? I think this person is going to take you out on a date. Uh, triggers, patterns. I think it's energy of that out there. This person is uh, just has triggers. Like, it's probably just things from the past that really trigger this person. And that's probably why they're kind of shy of uh, dating. And then it's even saying that this person has some dating in patterns that they're trying to avoid. They're trying to change. So if you want more energy with this person, you will need to take some time. Like, it's going to take some cycles, some healing, some progress to be able to make this work the way you want it to. If you want, like, commitment. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. I do feel like you guys are going to be able to have some passion that you guys are wanting to express that having sex energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if this made any type of sense to you, Pal B, please let me know. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, Pal C. Okay, Pal C. How does Pal C's person feel about Pal C? How does Pal C's person feel about Pal C? How does Pal C's person feel about Pal C? How does Pal C's, Pal C's person feel about Pal C? I'm coming, baby. I'm coming because I'm having some feelings for you and I've been sacrificing myself. Or in focusing on other things, but I've been talking about you because I've been thinking about you. All right. So what else? How does Palsy? So they're saying that they're single. So if you think that they're out there fucking or whatever or trying to be into another relationship, that is not what is happening. They're coming back or coming around or just, you know, calling you up because they need some excitement, spending some time with you. Because they want your attention. <laughs> and they want to be around you. They want to be with you. Uh, this person wants to show you some good energy, a good time. Okay, Google, where you at, bitch? 11, 1, angel number love. No, According no, no, no. to Omni, calculate. 111, angel number love. 
Here is some information for angel number 111. According to the habitat, angel number 111 is associated with spiritual awakening. The angels are encouraging you to look within and discover your real purpose. You may be approaching a new phase in your life that will give you a greater sense of self-worth and confidence. Angels I encourage you to look within and discover your real purpose. You might be approaching a new phase that's going to give you some greater self-worth and confidence. Spirit is saying, don't, don't, uh, they, this person really likes you, but they've been having some issues in focusing. Spirit says, if, if this person doesn't make it worth it for you, then don't pay them no mind, okay? Have that self-confidence, that self-respect. So if this person ain't treating you like a queen or a king, then they don't need to be in your life. Okay, so it's saying that your person does want to be with you and they do want to treat you like a queen or a king. They've been talking about you, but they've probably been in the energy of maybe you, I don't know what, maybe distance. Maybe you haven't talked to this person or maybe you're just curious why they're doing certain things. Uh, it's because they've been focusing on some other things. It's They've been having issues, but... This person says it's not another person. I've been definitely talking about you and wanting to be around you. I feel everything for you and I want some excitement. I need your attention. I, I like you. You know, this person likes you. That's nice. They've been liking on you. Okay, pal. See? How does pal see's person feel about them? How does Palsy's person How does Palsy's person feel about them? How does Palsy's person feel about them? Feel the feeling of have a great relationship, wanting the relationship to evolve to the next level. They're kind of, they're focusing on their dating patterns and trying to change things. They want to date you. They want to see you. They want to meet up with you. They feel like they've missed opportunities with you and have some regrets. Maybe they avoided conversations, trying to heal from hurt, not wanting to deal with the hurt, needing to heal, needing to heal, having some inner work, trying to heal themselves. You will talk to this person again. There's going to be energy of expression. Uh, there's going to be energy of penises and vaginas. And uh, it's going to be some time, some energy of not really showing true feelings and pretending that things aren't... Uh, I don't know what they're going to be pretending, but somebody's not showing truly who they are. Uh, make sure this, this person is aligning to your values. Like I said before, if they're not treating you like a king or a queen, kick this motherfucker to the curb. But they feel like you are definitely a true keeper, a total keeper, and they feel love for you. This person has a, a, a energy of wanting to level up, uh, and change, adapt, make things nice and light again. This isn't bad. Your person your person wants more with you. They feel very sexually attracted to you. They want to talk to you. They want to spend time. It's just a matter of your self-respect. Make sure that this person is treating you the way you are meant to be treated. And if they are not, then, you know, kick them to the curb. Why waste your time? Why waste your time? But it's saying that this person, sometimes they might not want to deal with certain situations you guys might even mirror each other you guys might even like reflect some wounds or so maybe you guys do things to show things to each other about each other if that makes any type of sense huh your person okay we're not about to get into this bullshit that's popping out uh, let's just say your person focuses on, sometimes they focus on things that's not important in their life and it kind of, it kind of fucks them up from being on track. But give this person time and enjoy that passion, that connection with this person. So if this made any type of sense to you, Palsy, please let me know and I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one.